about town, Todd Walker, entertainment, travel, and more. Hey Todd, what's new? Welcome to another Friday of the Haberdasher's Couch, where you don't have to pay somebody to listen to you. And I tell you what, I'm going to check that one off the box because our Todd Walker taught about town. It's all about castles and cathedrals because he went on a 14-day trip and visited the Rhine River, the most beloved river, the Rhine. So we're going to listen to what Todd has to say. We are going to start off by just telling me a little bit about your trip. And I hear... Your dad went with you. Yes, actually, it was my father's 89th birthday, so Eight. it was his, yeah, it was his suggestion. So I was a little, of course, uh, apprehensive traveling with somebody that's 89. Wow. But uh, we traveled on Viking uh, on the Viking River boat, mm -hmm. and I got to tell you, there's no company that does it better. They took care of us from the moment right. we uh, basically got to the airport in Amsterdam to the moment that we got we left the airport uh, in Basel, Switzerland. It, it was amazing. And I know a lot of people are a little bit apprehensive right, right. now to travel, but uh, it, it was a great trip. But yes, we traveled the Rhine River. Right. Uh, so we started, uh, we flew into Amsterdam, actually spent a couple days in Amsterdam beforehand, okay. and then traveled along the Rhine, as I said, and ending up in um, ending up in Basel, Switzerland, where we celebrated his 89th birthday and did a little extension there. What, uh, along the way, so you, it looks like you, you get the Black Forest. Yes, okay, right? if you want to start there, uh, I did, we, the, that is, that's one of the destinations, because you go to Germany, you go to, right. you go to France, you go to Switzerland, you're in Amsterdam, uh -huh. I think I hit most of the countries we were in, uh, but the, I did the Black Forest, and it was wonderful, um, they arranged it so we had uh, bikes that we could use, so there were electric bikes, I actually didn't even turn on the electric bike until we hit like a huge hill, and so we left early in the morning, and then we biked all day through the Black Forest in Germany, and uh, to break, uh, we did break for lunch, where they, what do you think they served us at lunch? Black Forest cake. Yes, so we had Black Forest cake <laughs> in the Black Forest. I, that was just, it was it, just absolutely. Is it true it really grows on the trees? Yeah, right. Huh? No, no, no. Oh, no that's but not the Black Forest is just absolutely uh -huh. stunning and beautiful. And so that was a great way to see the forest by going through the, uh, on a bike. But they set up a number of different excursions for different ways people can uh, experience the areas that you go to. What was the historical value uh, during World War II on that? You did, did, there was a lot of history along the way. Of the when they, when they oh yeah that, sure but you know there's of course you know some of the right. things that happened during the right. war right. that we hit on some of those we went to Cologne Germany right. and saw the famous basilica uh, in Cologne that was just it's just stunning stunning building did the tour of that um, went to Spire uh -huh. uh, which uh, it was. Is that the World Heritage Site, the, uh, the castles? Yes, yeah. there's the castles there. Yep. And they talked a lot about uh, like what happened during the Nazi Germany times. Right. And there was a large Jewish population there and some of the some of the things that uh, happened. So that right. was a very educational and interesting on one of the walking tours. And then one of the other places, my favorite place was probably Strasbourg, mm -hmm. which was just stunning. Uh, right. Some of the flowers, some of the... The canals in Strasbourg were just absolutely amazing. Strasbourg? Is that where uh, the uh, Sound of Music? You know, I don't know that. I think Sound if that was the, the case, I, that no, might no. have been part no, of the No, no, maybe. Yeah. Um, so I see a lot of wine, wine tasting, desserts, and food. Yes. There's a, there's a number of Viking sets it up so you can kind of take a path of every day. There, what I do love about Viking is that they have a, an included tour, an excursion that you can take. But then there's a number of add-on ones, like such as going through the uh, Black Forest on a bike. But people, some of the people I met along the way did food tours. Uh, walking food tours of the different cities. Uh, I know specifically in Strasbourg, there were uh, beer dinners at night that you could take. Uh, and I always like to describe uh, cruising, uh, whether it's a riverboat right. or a, a sea, uh, you know, vessel. Right. Is it's really think of it having an amazing. Um, Uber driver sure. who drives you to these who takes you to right. these different cities and you're traveling maybe at nighttime and then you wake up in the morning you're at a great new mm -hmm. city uh, and you go out and explore and come back on the boat and have a great dinner and enjoy you know the wonderful cocktail lounges right. so there's there's a lot to do and uh, you know they they definitely took all the precautions during when COVID. you're on a boat that long 
Do you, do you get sea legs? No, not at all. No? Not at all. Especially when you go through, I think we looked at like some 40 different castles and we were up on the no. top deck on the riverboat. And there's only, we only had about 100, 125 passengers mm -hmm. on the riverboat. Mm -hmm. And so we go up on the top deck and you could look at all the castles and the cruise director guy explained all about the beautiful castles we were looking at. So it was pretty cool. What was the, what was the highlight of the trip? Um, I'd have to say going through the Black Forest, you know, yeah. on a bike because you, you were able right? to get exercise. Big big was, trees, right? Yes, big, yeah, big trees. You know, big trees, and you know, and just the the beauty of being in that that countryside. Mm -hmm. um, Do you it, remind you of nice, northern Minnesota? Kind of? uh, you know, there were more? parts of it we went. Did, yeah. We did go through a cornfield, and I thought, you know, I could just yeah. as I could be in some parts of Minnesota. Sure, sure, but, sure. It, Travel during COVID. All right. So traveling during COVID. Uh, you know, there were a lot of people have questions about what it is like right now to travel. Well, first of all, when the boat, I felt completely safe the entire time. Before we got on the boat, um, we had to send all of our vaccination records. So everybody was vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was uh, traveling as well as any of their staff were vaccinated. Every single morning at 7.15, we had to provide a saliva sample. Wow. They did a PCR test. Every single day we were on the, the boat. Um, they have an uh, air purification mm -hmm. system with ultraviolet lights that zaps out 99.9% .9 of all of all bacteria or any bacteria, I guess it would be, sure, or sure. Yep. any germs that would be in the air. Um, and they also then, so the filtration system, they also have little monitors that I didn't even notice until I was. They pointed them out to me, where it checks your temperature the entire time while you're on the boat. So is that is that peripheral? I mean, it, you make you don't want to make it sound like I don't want to do that no. every day. It's peripheral, right? Yeah, it, it's it it's it's well organized. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's peripheral doesn't interfere with your. Ability to relax. No, no. I mean, it, yeah. that's that because I was a little concerned about that. I'm looking to see if they, they what some of the other precautions. The key they points take. from Viking, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. the because they did the the PCR testing, uh, which was amazing. You know that they just did it every day, right. so you're always secure. The purified air, and you know the sh ships are smaller, so you'd have to worry about anything on the ships. Sure. And you know, so when you'd go. Every day, you knew you were with passengers that everybody had been tested, and everybody was, you know, came on vaccinated. Right. But you know, the different countries you go to, uh, in Germany, you actually have to carry around your vaccination card before you go into mm -hmm. any of the uh, uh, any of the maybe bars, restaurants, mm -hmm. or whatever. So you have to have that vaccination card with you, and there, you know, you you do wear. Uh, yeah, I always carried a mask, and you know, we we the Viking gave us a bunch of masks as well. So you felt safe. You felt you felt like you were in, in good hands, and uh, I never worried about it once. Well, uh, so um, what's interesting is that so so you have the money exchange rate. So you're using euros, right? Yep, your euros, and you're going into port, uh, and you're walking through towns. Yep. And you say the groups are small. Yep. And um, and that everything is kind of just real organized. Oh, it's yeah. it's so incredibly yeah. organized that it's just it's it's amazing. And you you know when you think of sometimes travel, especially European travel, and you know me traveling with a 89 year old father, that there could be hiccups. And there wasn't a hiccup. Mm -hmm. The food was great. Uh, you know the, the they I don't know how they memorize everybody's names, but they know every single mm. person's name by like Todd, hour. Todd two. away from the buffet. Todd <laughs> yeah, away from the buffet. Buffet. No, there were no buffets. Hey, oh, there was no buffets. buffets. Oh, yeah. Sit down right, dinners. So. Sit down dinners. But <laughs> they yes, kept they kept us under control. No, no big buffet deals. Right. But yes, it was a, let's, it was an amazing. Let's trip. just talk one more thing. Yeah. Travel dress. Travel what, dress. What did you wear? Okay. Well, what did you just come off the boat? Yeah. One of these. One of these upcoming uh, upcoming shows here. We're going to do a before and after. And we're mm -hmm. going to have the uh, the Anthony here right. dress me so I look appropriate and look like a uh, you look like you do every time. But um, what I did is, you know, I had a lot of, you know, athletic wear, mm -hmm. athleisure wear. Leisure wear. Yeah. Throw on a sport coat for dinner. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I did throw on a sport coat for dinner, and then I would have. Um, the athleisure wear was great because it didn't wrinkle. Mm -hmm. Wore like these Kohan yeah. shoes a lot. So convertible clothing, yeah, probably cooler in the in the in the mornings. Yep. Uh, you, you shed some clothing in the afternoon, then you're back. Yep. maybe with a light jacket yep. At, yep. at night. Yeah, you've got it. You're yeah, ready and, to and travel. So, and so, um, one other question that I had was, did uh, 
these packages started about 1999. Yeah, you know they have different different levels of how much you know you uh, they they cost. It depends if you like. I did a two uh, an excursion two days before and two days after, uh -huh. so that kind of changed it up a little bit as well. Oh, and I have to share and this then, with and you. And the coal beer. Oh yeah, and I had coal beer, which yep. was delicious. But in uh, Switzerland is an insanely expensive city, really expensive. I think I had uh, my father and I went when we arrived and had two beers. Uh, some onion rings. It was like at a Dubliner cafe because mm -hmm. you go to an Irish pub, you're always going to know what you're going to get, right? Mm -hmm. And had, I think, one other appetizer, and it was eighty dollars. <laughs> eighty dollars. So it's definitely expensive. But here's the here's the right. interesting point. What kind of cars do you think the uh, the police officers drive in Basel, Switzerland? Uh, uh, Sobs. Teslas. Teslas? They all drive Teslas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they're I, beautiful I mean, Teslas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's an expensive city. Getting that, I think they're one of those those uh, cities that want to go completely carbon free in a short uh, yes, time. I believe you're right. Yeah, yeah, I believe you're right. Yeah, yeah. But it was beautiful. So it was a great trip. If you're looking at a getaway and you want to go someplace that takes all the all the worry out of travel and is well organized and Viking treated well. Viking River Cruises. Viking, Viking River Cruises. Yes. Check it out. Deb website. Yep. Viking.com. Big deal. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Todd, thanks again for Thank coming. Thank you. Next week, we're going biking with Todd. Yes. yes. We're going to do fall colors. Thank you so much.